Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 tutorial. This time I've got the wonderful Nicholas Cage in all of his glory. My love for you can't be caged. There's, I don't know, you can't really find much of a better picture in this. But what we're doing in this tutorial is I'm going to show you how to increase the size of the eyes for your YouTube thumbnails. This is an incredibly common practice. People increase the size of their eyes because, you know, it gives that, you know, over the top, eye-catching pun sort of intended uh, effect where people are looking through thousands of thumbnails and they want to see one that catches their eye. Well, let's increase the eye size because, you know, that's how they do it. And, you know, it kind of goes along with the whole shock, you know, over-the-top kind of stuff that YouTube's kind of famous for. So, anyways, without any further ado, let's get right into this, guys. I've got your love can't be caged uh, image going on here. Just follow along. If you've got any picture or any image that has two eyeballs in it, should be good to go. The next step, guys, is once we've got our little composition thingy dingy dingy open, you want to go here and you want to make a second layer. We want to create a backup layer. You do that, Command or, con or Control J. <laughs> Spilling over my words tonight, fellas and ladies. Now we've got, well, two Nicholas Cages. What's better than one? Two. All right, fair enough. The next step, guys, is you want to go ahead and convert this to a smart filter. That is right clicking on the layer and then convert to smart object. Did I say smart filter or smart object? I meant smart object. <laughs> All right, you know it's a smart object because it's got the little doodaddy here. Now we're going to use a smart filter. Come on, Curtis, stay with me, buddy. You got this. All right, go to filter, liquify. Now the liquify effect is the one we're going to roll with. Now go down to liquify and bang you're going to see a couple of cool things. Now, if this is your first time using Liquify or you haven't used it in a while, it's going to default to the forward warp tool, and that's actually okay. But um, what we're looking for is we want to go to face tool, or it's basically face recognition. So we're going to click on this, the face tool. And because it's kind of way the hell out, we want to zoom in. Now, pinching and zooming, if you have a Mac, does not work in this for some reason. So you got to actually click the zoom tool. I'm going to zoom right between his eyes, and we're in a little closer. We can actually go a little closer, and it won't be a big deal. So uh, click there. Okay, how does that look? All right, we're working with the eyes again. Okay, guys, we're going to now start working on his eyes. We're going to do some uh, some uh, surgery here. So now we go back to the face tool. And now I'm going to hover over top of this. That's his face, as you can see, obviously. But you're going to see we can start working on the eyeballs. Now we can adjust the height and the width and a few other things. Now each one of these cool little dot, little square thingy dingies is an adjustable component. So I'm gonna make the height bigger. So I'm just sort of scrolling up and then I'm gonna change this one up. And obviously he's starting to look like an alien. Up, down, okay, and presto. We've got gigantic eyeball. We're gonna do this one the same way, just scroll out to the maximum. And we're doing this because we want to go with the maximum because that way you can see the biggest effect. Now, obviously, this is not what we would be going with if we were doing a, you know, a, a final copy or this was like serious work, but this is just for a tutorial. So just play with me. Let's go. Okay. Click on OK. And boom! <laughs> You've got giant eyeballs inside Nicolas Cage. And let's just see the difference between the two. Left clicking that little show button off. Just regular cool Nicolas Cage. And then Nicolas Cage, the Bug F Alien. Guys, that's how you do it. You can go in and make other changes. Uh, I'm not going to go too far down the rabbit hole. Um, I, okay, if you want to go in here and start changing things like eye distance and nose height, and you want to like make all sorts of cool face changes, there's tons of things in here that you can do. But just to have big giant eyeballs for your YouTube, <laughs> for your YouTube thumbnails, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back more with some more hardcore stuff shortly. Thanks for watching.